Some secret things of Lucifer revealed. I was on an evangelical mission in the country and I was coming back to the capital. I was on the plane that was heading to the capital. I heard the audible voice of the Lord in the plane. The Lord told me, this time around you shall settle in Kinshasa, the capital for I have a mission for you in the capital. In truth, I don't like the hectic lifestyle of people in the capital because there is so much movement. I spent a large part of my life in the province in the countryside as life in the countryside is calm, serene and less hectic. When the Lord sent me to the capital as a missionary, although I was not thrilled by the idea of moving to the capital, I still accept the charge that the Lord has entrusted to me. Immediately, I began to wonder how to take possession of the capital. This was my preoccupation. When I got out of the airport, I was wondering and asking questions about this city. Immediately, the Lord spoke and told me, My servant, this city where I'm sending you has dark and somber secrets that you are supposed to know for this city is under the control and domination of Satan. Then the Lord told me, Now get out of the airport. When I left the airport, I went to get a taxi. As soon as I began to talk to the taxi driver, the Lord spoke to me in an audible voice and said, My servant, now turn around and look back. When I turned around to look back to face the airport, instead of seeing the airport, to my surprise, there was an empty land where the airport was supposed to be. I was stunned. Quickly the Lord showed me the Congo River. I mean, the Lord zoomed in on the Congo River which was behind the airport. And the Lord told me, look at the Congo River. What are you seeing inside the river? When I looked, I saw the water beginning to bubble and move. And suddenly I saw a woman coming out of the depths of the river. She was standing on the National River giving her back to the Republic of Congo, and she was looking at our country the DRC. I saw that this woman had powder in her hand. Quickly she blew this powder towards the city. I saw that this powder was transported by a powerful wind over the city. The Lord asked me to turn around and face the city. When I turned around to observe the capital, instead of seeing the city infrastructure and houses, I saw that the city had no road, no tree, and no building. It was empty and plain land. I just saw the population of the city moving around the city that had no building and street. When I looked, I saw this powder spreading throughout the city. As soon as people were breathing in this powder, they were coughing. The Lord said, My servant, you are a missionary. I chose you since youth and I will do with you great things that will shake the world. Therefore I am now teaching you the satanic system. The Lord said, You see this lady of the river that is blowing the powder in the city. She is not human. She is a demon. She is one of the demons that rule your country for your country was sold to marine spirits in a covenant by your former president. This unclean spirit that rules your country is the water spirit that dwells beneath your national river. The woman that you saw is the principality of the capital of Congo, where she exercises her domination and control. The Lord said, you saw people in the capital inhaling her powder. You must note that there are two unclean spirits that are dominating and controlling the residents of the city that are inhaling this demonic powder. Firstly, whenever people are breathing powder, they come under the influence of the demon of alcohol. People in this city are addicted to beer, even servants of God in the local church. These drink to the point of getting drunk. Youngsters are also addicted to beers. This demon of alcoholism is influencing the inhabitants of the city where I am sending you. The Lord told me, the second spirit that is influencing the city is the spirit of sexual impurity. Even teenagers in this city of young ages love going out with senior men that could be their parents. Married men and women are having sex outside marriage. We have pastors and servants who are in fornication. Likewise, national politicians are in sexual impurity. When the Lord showed me this dark secret of the capital, I was really sad. I said, how can I live in such a place? There is so much sexual impurity. Many days after settling in the capital, the Lord visited me again. It was in the night when I was already sleeping. He woke me up telling me to go a popular quarter of the city, yet it was eleven in the night, I went out of my place, and I took the bus that was heading to that quarter. When I got to that quarter where the Lord told me, I said, Lord, you brought me here at this time of the night. Now what I am supposed to do? The Lord told me, take this direction before you for I have prepared a man that will lead you where I want you to go. I took the direction that the Lord indicated to me. I was walking in the street deep in the night when I saw a man that seems to have been waiting for me. 
When he saw me, he did not greet me or say something to me. He just turned around giving me his back and he began to walk forward. And I began to walk after him following him. As I kept walking after him, he got into a bar. I said to myself, I preach in the street in public places. If people see me in the bar, it will undermine my reputation. Immediately I heard the Lord telling me, just follow the man and enter the bar. I followed that man in the bar. When I entered the bar, I saw people drinking and dancing and having fun. The Lord said, now go to the toilet. I went to the back where the toilet was. I saw people going one after another to pee in the toilet. When a man entered the toilet to pee, the Lord told me, now place your hand on your eyes. When I touched my eyes with my hand, my spiritual vision opened and I saw boxes of empty bottles where the man was peeing. The pee was entering into one of the empty bottles of this box. When these empty bottles were full of pee, demons were taking them to the kitchen where the fridge was. The Lord said, the owner of this bar is in black magic and occultism. He does not supply his bar with normal beer. The beer that people drink here is pee. My brother, I was in terror and shock. Since I am a street preacher, I testified to the crowds in the street what was happening in that bar. The employees of this bar who were there were not happy. They wanted to brutalize me but the Lord caused the young people who heard this testimony to protect me and they took a taxi for me. Days later, when I was sleeping, immediately I heard the Lord telling me, I want to show you something. It was around 1 a.m. I was sleeping when I felt like the door of my house opened, and quickly I felt like someone hit me twice on the leg in order to wake me up. When I rose up, I was a bit afraid, but I refused to panic. I felt the presence of a man but I did not see him and I took my Bible and began to pray. While I was praying, I felt someone hit me on the shoulder and telling me, my servant, I want to take you somewhere. When I looked, I saw that there was nobody but I felt his presence. The Lord instructed me to go outside. When I went out of the house deep in the night, I stood outside my house. Immediately I saw two brightening beings of light descending. They landed on my right and my left and they transported me to a hall. It was a state-of-the-art auditorium where Lucifer was holding a council. The place was full to capacity. When Lucifer showed up, he told the audience of demons and human, the purpose of this meeting is to come up with new strategies to annihilate the church and Christians. The end-time strategy of the devil is to destroy the church and to stop believers from rising in the rapture when the blast of the trumpet will resound all over the world. Time is running out for the world. The return of the Lord is imminent. We are living in the fulfillment of Matthew 24. Every day walk in fear pleading to Lord to help us walk in holiness, not to fall in love with money, wealth, and property. I did not come to Jesus Christ for money or cars or house, but to inherit eternal life. I have consternation to see things happening in the church of Jesus Christ in this critical hour of the end of the world. The devil knows that time is finished. I heard the devil saying to the audience, the purpose of this meeting is to corrupt the church, to stain God's children with impurity and to contaminate the chosen ones with sin. The devil told the audience, I will set out the weekly plan of action that we will implement in order to infest and contaminate the church with defilement and sin. In this meeting, I learned that every day of the week is ruled by a ruler of darkness. The devil asked the audience, who wants to rule the world on Monday? I saw the audience was silent. Then Lucifer said, I will rule the world on Monday. Monday is the day of Lucifer for he leaves his throne and descends to earth on Monday to get human sacrifices through bloodshed. The genocide of Rwanda happened on Monday in the central region of Congo in 1983. There was a train derailment on Monday, where people died in great numbers. Lucifer was present on the earth where he caused the train to derail, and he rose up to his throne with enough blood of the innocent people that died tragically. On that day, I saw that in this meeting, humans were not speaking only demons. Then the devil asked the audience, who can rule the world on Tuesday? Immediately I saw a demon rising in the auditorium. He was the demon. The demon is called the demon separator for he is the divider. The demon is called street. Francis of Assisi of the Catholic Church. This is not a human but a demon venerated as a saint in the Catholic religion. He founded the Order of Friars Minor for Men, the Order of Women of Saint. Claire, the Third Order of Saint. Francis and the Custody of the Holy Land.
This demon is one of the most revered religious figures of Christianity. Later it became associated with the patronage of animals and the natural environment. Then it became customary for Catholic churches to hold ceremonies blessing animals on or near his feast day of October the 4th. The demon separator can cause division in the family. When this demon enters the local churches, he causes factions, camps, and divisions. He separates the pastor and his subordinate, yet God does not accept division. The Lord works in unity. The Lord allowed separation but he does not like division. This demon is celebrated in the Catholic Church for a day is reserved for his commemoration. The Catholic Church is a sect, pray for your loved ones who are in the Catholic Church. Exodus 20, 3, You shall have no other gods before me. Then the devil asked, Who can rule the world on Wednesday? I saw a female demon rising. She comes to earth on Wednesday but her feet do not touch the ground. She does not have bones in her body. In the musical world, she is called the goddess Astarte. We know the popular musician Kafi Alamide paid tribute to goddess Astarte in his songs. The goddess Astarte is also called Maria Valencia and all over Africa, people pay tribute to this goddess. They worship the goddess Astarte through the poem called, My Mother, the African Woman. The author of this poem is an occultist who has signed a pact with this goddess who gave him wisdom. When this writer offered human sacrifice to the goddess Astarte, she told him to write a poem in her honor. Then the devil asked the audience, who can rule the world on Thursday? I saw the demon Verdeen who work on Thursday. He is the demon of witchcraft and bewitchment who causes people to sleep in the church because heaviness in the intercession prayer. Then the devil asked the audience, who can rule the world on Friday? The demon Sankey work from Friday up to Saturday stood up. In this meeting I saw Lucifer saying, we need a church that will win souls for us in the earth. I saw the Pope who was chosen to be the representative of Lucifer on earth and to win souls for the kingdom of darkness and the meeting ended. Some secret things of Lucifer revealed. I was on an evangel-